This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another review and today something that is, well, it's technically still Transformers, so, but it's Dungeons and Dragons. The, I guess this is two-third of Wave 2 of the Honor Among Thieves uh, Dice Links. Uh, so you have the Beholder, which looks to be a straight repaint of the orange one that we got in Wave 1 and a Displacer Beast. And I was really expecting to have the White Dragon of this Wave 2, but uh, my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, might want to check those later, uh, they, um, they they got the, uh, like, a box, let's say four pack, or maybe eight, and they had these two, but they had the Owlbear from Wave 1 instead of the White Dragon. And that's apparently a standard practice where Hasbro's gonna you know, ship you extra stuff that they still have in their warehouse. So I'm waiting on the White Dragon, who should be here by the end of the month, I hope. And then after that, I have Wave uh, 3 already pre-ordered, uh, which are due for, I think, July, maybe August. So hopefully these four will all arrive at the same time. It's just... Anyway, so I'm happy to have these two. I'm gonna do some comparison with the Wave 1 dice and, um, you know, compare it with a uh, couple of... Uh, other figures that I have in my collection. But before I take a look at these figures, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of, uh, something I've been work working really hard to get going, and so far so good. I'm, as, th as of this recording, I'm at 398 subscribers. So, you know, I'm uh, looking forward to 400. And then also, at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store run by a guy named Derek, and he's an amazing uh, sponsor. You know, that's all I can say. And now, let's roll the intro. All right, let's unbox these little guys. Let's go with the Displacer Beast first. So you have, well, the don't choke stuff. How do you choke on a dice? I don't get, but you have the instructions. I have to say that the Displacer Beast, which is a very cool figure. It's basically a six-legged cat with tentacles. Uh, you can see it more on the picture here. But the, um, the cool thing is that they have like a shadow. You cannot, like there's always two of them. You are, you always see two of them. So they're harder to hit when you play a game and stuff like that. And they're actually coming up with a clear version of this guy on wave three. And that's going to be cool to have them side by side so that the other one's kind of the illusion. But I, you know, he looks kind of similar to the dragon for the tentacles, which are basically similar to the wings. So, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see. But, uh, you know, five step. And then they show you how to put them back. Oh, that's actually different from what I recall from the originals. And that's actually pretty cool because for, you know, sometimes it's easy to unfold, but it's not the same to, you know, refold. And let's take a look inside. So this is how they store it. You know, it's not bad. So you remove that piece here. And it's all wrapped. But let's take a look at the box. You have, you know, the dice, uh, the figure, you know, D and D logo, uh, the dice link, Hasbro, plastic free packaging, yay! You have the actual artwork, which is really nice. And in the back, you have. I guess that's from them. I think in the movie, there's a scene in the trailer where they're in a kind of an arena and they're fighting this guy. And which now I in my first review I said I wasn't going to watch it, but now now that it's out and it seems to be doing doing well, maybe I'll give it a look. Not sure yet. Uh, but there you go. That's the box. Just gotta make some room. And then you have the I don't know. That's not kind of. It's like waxed paper. So I don't know. Oh, and right now I can see something different. It doesn't appear that there's paper inside the figure. In the first wave, that's what they did. They had paper inside so that it didn't, I don't know, rub during... Oh man, look at that. Stress mark right there. Fresh out of the box. 
That's too bad. All right, is, is there any other? Uh, there's a bit of a smudge here. That's disappointing. All right, so stress smart. Yeah, yeah, two at the uh, joint, the screw. So be careful with that. Uh, all right, so how do we transform? Well, I'm gonna look at the instruction and uh, do that in a second. The beholder, he's, uh, you know, looks uh, like a straight repaint of the original. So let's take a look. Sorry about that banging. I just dropped the tool. Uh, don't choke stuff. And you have the instructions. Okay, so this one is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's no refolding. Although this one's pretty easy. But I'm guessing these are the exact same instruction as in wave one. You know. And then you have the. Let's remove the beholder. There I go. Nothing else in there. So. Six step blue beholder, and then you have the artwork. I don't know if it's the same artwork just repainted. I'd have to dig out my old box, but I like these boxes, they do the job, they're pretty neat. Same kind of wax paper. Ah, there you go. Ah, see here in, inside, there is paper, you can see it so. I don't know why they wouldn't do it with the displacer. Sorry about the crunching noise. All right, so let me take a look at the instructions. All right, so the instruction says start with number 13 and unclip that or unfold that. I need the, wow, I need a place to pry and that's gonna be hard to do. This is why you don't do transformation on camera. All right, so you have discs and looks like that's the tail. All right, so once you have that, oh, there you go. All right, so there's unfolding. I'm trying to be careful because I've seen those, those, uh, you know, stress mark. All right. Okay, so quite simple, basically. This, this is the tail. So you can see here, the tail is inside the dice shell. There you go. And then, so is there anything you can do with it? No, you just leave it there. And then here, and that's a lot. Of, okay, so this moves and it rotates on a ball joint. Well, that's pretty cool. And then you have the six legs. Oh, so that's cool. They did one, like two shoulders and one piece here. There you go. All right. And then you have the Foot that you can rotate so all of the feet look to be on small ball joint I don't know why I have a problem with the word ball sometimes I rewatch my stuff and I pronounce ball in a weird way ball ball, ball. I don't know. so the head moves up and down and you know like he's listening to some nice beat and the mouth opens look at the face go really good the figure itself inside it's pretty decent they're actually coming up with a uh, another line where they actually have the actual monsters and I'm not picking it up because it's all Asbro Pulse exclusive and it's gonna cost me millions of dollars in shipping so I'm not doing it but you have the six legs so there's an uh, there's an ab crunch there you go that's pretty neat and then you have, all right, so basically you see this part here. This is supposed to be a uh, 
when he whips you, this does extra damage. Okay, and now the instruction says to take this, rotate it, and flip it on the inside. Okay. So, and I hate doing that because that's right at the stress mark. So, all right. So see, that kind of looks like the wing mechanism. You fold this here, fold this here, and there you go. So you have the Displacer Beast in all of his glory. Actually, it looks really good. I wasn't expecting, because it's, to me, this is a little goofy. But, oh wait, you have to fold these like this. I'm guessing these like this so that they can... Uh, there you go. It looks thinner. Not really, but kind of. And this is on a ball joint, so you can rotate this a little bit. But, you know, the, it, the, the, the uh, damage part, uh, they stay on the inside quite a bit. But he looks good. And now this one, the Beholder, it's a little simpler. Oh, now we've confirmed that this one doesn't contain any type of uh, tissue inside. But this one here is much simpler. You just open. And fold. Oh, well, same QC as the other one. If you move this a little too much, the ball joint pops. So all these four here are on ball joints where you can have them look backwards they're painted uh, well the eyes look to be the same paint as the other ones there you go and then you have these here that you can these are actual like really soft rubbery plastic so you can you can't really place them but you can move them out now you remove the tissue and this moves on the inside and then in the back at the number 13, for luck, you wanna, oh, come on, there you go. You have another eye, well, two eyes, on the outside, on the inside, sorry. There you go. So there you go, you have eight eyes plus the big main one, and just like the other one, the mouth open. There you go, much simpler transformation. So, I think still out of all of these, the Albert is still the more intricate, more fun transformation. But I really like this one. Uh, all right, let's uh, compare the two Beholder. Whoop, come on, Dragon. Dragon, uh, the Red Dragon uh, doesn't stand very well. So, same molded details. Uh, it's the same, same thing. I think the, th the Tong might be different color nah well I'm colorblind so you tell me if it shows on camera properly but uh, yeah so same eye in the middle the eyes are yellow instead of beige but they have the same black line uh, there's a little more highlight on the orange here with some I don't know dirty purple this is blue and other blue. And then you have, oh, you can see the uh, tooling of the teeth. So I thought this was maybe like one part when you give it a quick look, but you can see now, you can see that it's two parts. So the teeth are inserted afterwards. They're not part of the head mold. Oh, you have a, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's ridges inside for the palette. That's pretty cool. And there you go. So those are beholder so you can see you know it's all the same size um, let's compare the black dragon with see the wings are on top and they're articulated with the same type of thing that we see here uh, well no actually this one is on ball joints and this is a proper uh, swivel the mechanic you know to use 
the uh, die shell as the wings, you know, translate really nice for the mechanic of the tentacles. That's, I, I, I really like this is the placer, the, 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 bleh, sorry, the displacer beast. Looks really good. The tail is goofy, the tentacles are goofy, but I mean, they're dicelings. That's the gimmick. All right, so let's push you back there. Let's do some other size comparison with these two new dicelings, just to give you an idea. Uh, let's remove the beholder and put in Jada Toy Optimus Prime. That's from the Wave 2. Oh, and I have some paint scratch on it. That's my kid playing with it. I don't mind. But, you know, Optimus, uh, he would actually be a lot bigger compared to this creature. But that's when you call Sunstreaker. Earthrise with Toy Hacks decals. Looking good. So there you go, guys. That's the complete set that I have of the Die Sling. So I'm waiting for the White Dragon. Uh, so I guess that's going to be a video by itself which, uh, you know, more content, it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, really happy to have all of these guys. Like I fell in love with the Dicelings the moment they came out. And to tell you the truth, if they wouldn't have been Hasbro exclusive, I would have gotten the actual creature. They have a, the Albear, the Black Dragon, the, uh, what's the other one? Yeah, the, uh, the Displacer Beast, and they all look really, really good. And, and I think the price is, you know, fair for them. But it's the Asbro Pulse shipping, it's always crazy, so I'm not getting those. But these Dicelings, I can get them through my sponsor, so that's always a plus. I love these uh, little guys, they're amazing, they're fun to play with. If you like uh, the 5-2 toys, check out my pal Deluxe Baldwin, he does a lot of 5-2 toys review, and they look amazing, and that kind of reminds me of that, instead of being squares, they're dice. Uh, different quality because you know this is Asbro, so it's you know made for mainstream stuff it's not really collectible items but i'm gonna collect them so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care <laughs>